going on guys? PTB coming back at you again with another freaking dope ass Patreon request. We got Andrew Wisnant up to bat right now and he wants me to check out the new Sabaton song Christmas Truce. I have not listened to Sabaton in quite a while so without further ado let's get at it but first let's do this. A new song by Sabaton about a remarkable event in World War I when many, many soldiers stopped fighting for one day. I was like, wow. Now, Espy, my coworker, told me a lot about um, Sabaton and the fact that they sing about um, basically, oh, Espy and Russell both are really into history. And they told me about, like, there was one day that in, during the war, they stopped fighting just because it was Christmas. Wow. Really freaking crazy that the Nazis stopped fighting during Christmas. Let's do it. It's actually Sabaton members in costume. That's cool as hell. <laughs> What's the point of war, man? I really did under never understood the point of war. God, I love his accent. On a cold winter day, after many months on the battlefield, and we were used to the violence, then all the cannons went silent, and the snow fell. Voices sang to me from no man's land. Christmas song. 
unbelievable that this actually happened. Wow. Is that Germany and America? No, wait. Yeah, I think it is. He's playing a bagpipe though. I don't think they have bagpipes in Germany. Awesome song though. That's so cool, dude. Oh shit. Never bury the bodies. Wow. the point twenty twenty one nineteen fourteen Lest we forget. Wow. Super cool. I really did thoroughly enjoy that. That was very, very unique. I never would expect something like that to happen during a war. You know what I mean? Like, why in the world would they stop fighting just for a day? You know what I mean? And just. It doesn't make no sense. It doesn't make no sense. Like, why would 
they stopped fighting for a day. I want to know what two countries. I know it's the U.S. One of them is the U.S. Or it's uh, one of them's Great Britain, and then the other is I think I think Austria or Germany. I can't remember. I have to go back in my history books and actually look it up and try to figure them out. Um, but wow, that was powerful. It's like really powerful to see that people still have hearts even through times of war they still have a heart and still wants to you know still have respect for one another during Jesus's birth and I I know I'm gonna get a lot of comments all oh, Jesus isn't real God isn't real you know what whatever but anyways yeah the, the, he was born on Christmas guys okay it's the birth of Jesus it's a holy day it's it's a special day and I definitely think that this should be the normal that Christmas should be a it's it's a holy day and back then Christianity was big it was huge back then um, and for this to happen during the war of World War one is just wow spectacular I never would have thought in a million years that they would stop fighting on a holiday that is crazy me being a military member I can't see that happening nowadays especially with the cancel culture um, you know stuff that we have going on in the world today and all that stuff Christmas is real you know Jesus isn't real God isn't real all that bullshit anyways um, if you believe you believe you guys can believe whatever you want to believe in I believe in Jesus Christ I believe in God as my Savior I'm sorry Jesus Christ as my Savior and God and the Holy Trinity the Holy Spirit Jesus Christ and God amen okay sorry but um you just you have to you have to really dig down dig down in your roots and ask yourself is it really worth is it really worth fighting is it really worth fighting for what reason why do we fight why do we have wars it doesn't make no sense I really really enjoyed this thank you very much Andrew for throwing this up I never thought in a million years that I would see something like this or hear about something like this for that matter all right so until next time thank you for building the empire peace